Today, we are making deviled eggs. Here's how we do it. You need a pot with water. You need eggs. I'm going to use six because I'm just doing it for myself. But usually you do twelve. So you... So, turn on the stove. Uh, get the water boiling and put your eggs in. Start timing it when the water boils. So when it starts boiling like this, time for at least 10 minutes. So it's been 10 minutes. Turn off stove. Take pot off stove. And Drain out water. Carefully, so you don't want to break them. And let them cool. So now when the eggs are cool, you crack them to take the shell off. Because we want the egg, not the shell. <laughs> Peel the shell off. Be careful so you don't um, damage the egg. So you just keep peeling the shell off the egg. And once you get it all off, You want to oh. see this is what happens when uh, you don't go gentle. I was trying to go fast, <laughs> but that's fine. It's still good. Then you just rinse it off with water. And you just put it back in the um, pot. And you just keep doing it to the others. Go careful, like I said because you don't want that to happen to every egg. So once you do that, I'll tell you the next step. So now what do you do? You take the egg and you want to cut it from top to bottom. So pointy to the bottom of the round. Horizontal. And you cut it like that. And this is what you want to get. So then you do those with every egg. And then I'll show you the next step. So now what you would want to do is take the eggs that you cut in half and take the yolk out. Put it into a bowl. And keep doing it to every egg. You want to uh, scoop it out carefully because you don't want to break the white part because you want to put the yellow stuff back in when you mix it. So just carefully go like that because if they're thin they'll break kind of like what's happening there. So yeah, just keep doing it to all your eggs and I'll show you how to mix after. So the eggs should look like this until you take all the yolks out and all the yolk parts should be in there and now it's time for mixing. So what you'll need is three tablespoons of mayo, an onion, you cut it up, one onion, I'm using a half because I don't want too much onion. If you don't like onion, use onion powder. Then, a dash of salt and pepper. Teaspoon of paprika, paprika, sorry. 
and celery salt, but I'm going to use garlic salt instead, so a dash of that. And that's all you need. So I'm going to cut the onion up to my liking. Cut them up really small. Uh, I'm not using too much onion because I don't want too much onion anyway. My mom doesn't like onion, so usually I'll put the onion powder in it. It's just as good. I like my onion dough. So, so you want to chop it up as small as you can. I should be using a cutting board. that in the bowl. I'm just taking the smaller chunks. So there. Now dash of garlic salt. Dash of pepper. I like a lot of pepper. <laughs> dash of salt. Three tablespoons of mayo. Now this is more for the twelve. I'm just doing six, so I'm not going to put as much. So it would be half the ingredients if you're going to make half the eggs. And then you mix. So once you mix it really, really well. Start putting it in the eggs. Mash it up really well. Like you would do with mashed potatoes. Make it all nice and creamy. recipe. I got it from a good friend of mine, Ma. Best friend, Maya. So now, bring the eggs and we start filling it in. Okay, and you fill in the egg. them up pretty tight if you want. So you just keep doing that with all the eggs until they're done. So once they're done, you can get a little bit of paprika again and just sprinkle it on to make it look pretty.
So it looks, should look like this when it's done. Um, I hope you enjoy this recipe and I hope you do it for yourselves. It's good for snacking or a holidays or big meals. So uh, enjoy and have a good day. Good night and cheers.